All right, guys, today what I'm going to be talking about is an interesting and pretty darn compelling option for a companion or neck knife. Now, I'm saying companion knife here because I realize that not everyone thinks what, you know, a neck knife should be would be this size or this easily carryable. Some people think that this is a large neck knife, and that is, you know, like I said, different strokes for different folks, right? I think that any one of these could be a decent neck knife, but I'm going to say companion knife for sure. And what I mean by companion knife, of course, is if you run a larger knife, something in the seven inch territory, eight inch territory, or even larger, sometimes people like to run, you know, like chopping knives um, as their primary um, survival knife or bushcrafting knife. And, you know, sometimes that works for you. Um, but this would be, you know, like a good example here, the Scrama in uh, 210 millimeter. And so that's a, a decent sized knife, right? Pretty big. And the problem with those is they don't do a good job at really fine tasks, things like field dressing game animals or carving small intricate things such as a uh, deadfall or figure four traps. So anyways, let's talk about some, or so let's talk about what I think is a really decent offering and go over some competitive offerings as well. So the knife, the primary knife in question here is Veris Talaika's wood knife. Now this one is their smaller one. I forget the millimeter or metric designation. It's about a three inch blade length though. And this is their smaller one. Now this is about a 46, I wanna say $46 knife. And so it is not super cheap, but when you look at it in competitive options wise, unfortunately I don't have any Hele knives here, but if you were to look at something the closest like direct competitive offering would be something like Hele like Egan and that is because they use birch wood burl handles they're using stuff like this and so this is definitely a more premium style knife um, so the fact that this is $46 and or around the like 40 to 50 dollar mark and uses the you know like really beautiful birch burl handles uses you know brass fittings on it um, uses 80 CRV2 for the blade steel so pretty decent quality blade steel um, what you're getting here for this knife all in all is pretty darn good now what i like about it as well a lot is something that's very similar very reminiscent to other scandinavian knives is the termination of the blade is at the very end of the handle so there's no you know, sharpening choil there's nothing like that to get in the way so like i said you see this more commonly with things like moras things like martini knives um, you'll see this with a lot of scandinavian um, style blades where the termination of the blade is at the very end of the handle now the reason i like like this for especially smaller knives like three inch blades is that it effectively maximizes your cutting edge with a smaller knife um, now the one thing the kind of catch to this is that sometimes I do like for finger choils if the handle is kind of on the small end, but what the Scandinavian people do tend to get right very frequently, even with things like the Mora Eldris, is that the handle is very comfortable. You can see that I have a full grip on this handle and uh, I still have a little bit of room too. So I have a little bit of sprawling space on it, but I have a full grip on this knife. So like I said, I like that the maximum utilization of that cutting edge or blade is really there. So this guy, like I said, is an ADCR V2. It is pretty, pretty darn nice. Uh, it looks pretty good in my opinion. It is of course not full tang, but once again, most of the knives we're talking about here are not full tang either. And I'm definitely more okay with like rat tail or non full tang blades when it comes to a companion knife. Because once again, what this knife is really going to be doing for you in bushcrafting is those finer, more detail oriented tasks. This is not going to be, you know, the knife that you're gonna baton through a rock with. You're not gonna be doing super extreme hard use with this blade. So I like the fact that uh, they prioritize comfort and um, just overall the handle and even the weight, um, you know, this being a lighter weight knife over, you know, an absolute super robust knife. And that kind of has never made a lot of sense to me when it comes to smaller knives anyways, because once again, you know, your effective blade length is three inches. You're not gonna be batoning through a huge piece of wood. You're not gonna go drop a, a redwood with this knife, okay? Even if it was strong enough, like an Essie Azula, it's just not realistic. Okay, so like I said, what are some competitive offerings to this? So unfortunately, there are some very, very cheap offerings. The Mora Robust here is probably one of the best offerings because once again, it is not full tang, but it is a thicker blade um, and it is a very cheap sub $20 knife. Now, one thing that was worth mentioning that I almost forgot on this wood knife is that the um, 
spine on this is unfinished and that is actually a good thing because it is sharp you could strike a ferro rod with this pretty easily so next one up is the more eldris this is another decent competitive offering once again around the 20 to 30 dollar price range now these guys are actually sharpened so uh, their spines are definitely designed for striking ferro rods and they do it quite effectively so those are probably your two biggest competitive offerings that are going to be um, cheaper than the wood knife however once again the materials it's worth noting on the more uh, the robust this is 1095 high carbon so once again 80 crv2 versus 1095 80 crv2 is typically a little bit better it's going to have slightly better performance and once again on the eldris you have 12 c27 sandvik steel which is a decent steel it holds its own but 80 crv2 will have better edge retention so it's worth noting um you know this is a more expensive knife but it does have decent materials for the cost so i do think the cost justifies uh, or the materials justify the cost um, next one up is going to be another one that is pretty darn cheap and is definitely cheaper than the wood knife it is a little bit bigger this is the bps a knife i'm not quite sure what the name of this thing is exactly but it is uh, bps's version of the mora companion or clipper it's very similar to them it is a little bit thicker coming in at about an eighth of an inch thick the biggest drawback to this one it is also full tang so you know definitely a little bit tougher the biggest drawback is as it says on the blade this is 1066 high carbon so this is a pretty low um, carbon alloy and so it will still cut but it definitely will need to be sharpened more frequently so take it for what it's worth it is a you know once again about a sub $20 to like $22 knife so it's it's definitely on the cheaper end but it will definitely need some extra attention on that blade in addition to you know you're like oh this has wood handles too it definitely does have wood handles but these are like not the highest quality wood like these two woods are very different this is birch burl this is a very high quality very pretty wood whereas this is like it's not balsa but it's definitely not the best wood either it's definitely a lower quality and once again you know it's a sub 20 or right around 20 dollar knife so you can't necessarily hold it against it but it is definitely not as quality as this so take it for what it's worth in addition last one up kind of rounding it off with the most similar in overall like size and length and such is the bark river knives rising wolf now the rising wolf is a pretty cool knife it is definitely vastly more expensive it's the most expensive one here this one is about like a 200 dollars knife but it is using a2 tool steel um, one thing that i do think is cool about the rising wolf that i've mentioned in other videos is that because of the way the blade it is full tang but the way the handle is shorter than the actual full handle of the knife this gives you a little bit of extra length when batoning with this knife but once again you know these are companion knives so the, the reality of batoning like this extra quarter to you know a little bit more than a quarter inch of blit or of length that you can use to baton isn't going to like make a huge huge difference but it is worth noting so like i said you guys can see there um, pretty cool um, knife the, the rising wolf is a, a decent offering but i think that the the wood knife here really does blend a lot of great qualities and if you're looking for something that's more traditional and uh, definitely made out of some very high quality materials for its price point i think the wood knife is definitely one that is worth checking out from veris to like uh, i think it is like i said you can see like with competitive offerings it's definitely not the cheapest but for what it offers i think it is a good value proposition so it's a knife that i think is worth checking out if it's something that interests you and you want a more traditional styled companion knife it is pretty darn cool in addition they do come with leather sheaths so that's also a huge plus too so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out